a homicide detective's home on this secluded dead-end lane here in Charles County. The victim, 17-year-old Eagle Scout and athlete Bradley Brown, discovered shot to death in his driveway after the Charles County Sheriff's Department responded to a call about gunshots about 7 o'clock last night, according to the department. Investigators said it does not appear to be a random shooting. Other than that clue, Charles County investigators have been silent on any possible motives or suspects. Neighbors told us Bradley Brown was alone at home yesterday because his parents were away on a trip. And it's just really heartbreaking. Mystified and sad, here's neighbor Jake Spoon. Kid so young, had his life ahead of him, and but we've they've been robbed here. There's just it's just become an uneasy feeling kind of place. It used to be a great place to call home, but as of lately, just things have been kind of going downhill, and I hope this isn't something involved with that. Today at North Point High School, an outpouring of grief. Here's cross-country coach Jimmy Ball. Great young man. Uh, my wife is taking it really hard. She has him as a student. Um, the last time I saw Bradley, uh, when we had our parent night, and you know, I just remembered a big smile on his uh, mom's face. Uh, we're talking about we just got, we, we, we're getting him through. Mike Spruill, a scouting leader who said Brown had completed his Eagle badge requirements. Well, the Brown family has a long tradition of Eagles, you know, father, two sons, and Bradley had just really finished all the requirements for Eagle, and, and uh, he was on his way, and just really sad. I'm, I'm heartbroken. A lot of people are. According to sources close to Brown's family. Not only is Brown's father a veteran detective, his two older brothers are also police officers in Prince George's County, and Brown himself, as a high school student, was participating in the school's law enforcement program. In the words of one neighbor, this is the last kid you would imagine who would have been the victim of a murder. In Charles County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.